Hello, my dears. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Teresa, and I'm here in Kamloops, British Columbia, on the unceded and occupied territory of the Shakwetmik people. Today, we are going to learn about birds. The first thing we'll learn about is that all birds have different kinds of feathers. First, we're going to sing our bluebird song. Then we'll sing kookaburra. Then we'll read our book. Then we'll do a matching game. We'll read a poem and then we'll say goodbye. So let's start with our bluebird song. That's a song we always sing about birds. You can sing along if you like to. song called Kookaburra and it is a song that was written by Marion Sinclair who was a musician in Australia and they wrote the song in 1932 I'm just checking my notes 1932 so you might know this one and if you know it you can always sing along is about a bird called a kookaburra and a kookaburra lives in Australia. So there's a picture of a kookaburra in the book we're going to read. I'll show you. So this book is called Feathers and it is by Claire Clark. And the pictures were made by Tom Heggie. Let's see what's inside. This is a ruby-throated hummingbird. Hummingbirds have wings that go very, very fast. They are very tiny birds and they use their long beaks to put into flowers to get the nectar from inside. Hummingbird. This is a, a hummingbird feather. It's tiny and ruby colored. Ruby is another word for red. Ruby-throated hummingbird. Here we have the eastern bluebird. This eastern bluebird has just landed on a branch. 
That's why their wings are still open. You can see that they are eating, or they might want to eat, these red berries. This is the eastern bluebird's feather. It's long and blue, different from the hummingbird. Here we have the kookaburra, the bird from our song. This is his striped feather. Looks like this feather belongs on his tail, his striped tail. When kookaburras tweet, it sounds like laughing. Ha 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 ha. Here we have a cardinal. The cardinal's feathers are red all over. This cardinal is a male cardinal or a, a boy cardinal. That's because he's all red. The female cardinal or the girl cardinals are more brown and orange. Cardinal. Here we have a mallard. Look, their feathers are different again, a different shape. This mallard has a green head and they swim in the water. It looks like this mallard is coming down to land in the water after flying for a while. Mallard. This is an owl. This owl has a brown feathers. It's got, it's sitting in a pine tree. You can see the pine cone here. This owl has big eyes and a small beak. Owl. And here we have an ostrich. Look how big the ostrich feather is. Looks like it comes off the back of the ostrich here. The ostrich is the biggest bird in the whole world. Ostrich is the biggest and hummingbird is the tiniest. The end. So there, uh, here I have some birds and we're going to play a matching game. First I'll show you my birds and then we'll play with some cards. So here we have cardinal, the red cardinal, like in our book. Can you say cardinal? Cardinal. And here's our old friend, Robin. Robin who likes the rain. Robin has a yellow beak and a red breast and yellow feet. Can you say Robin? Robin. Here's Blue Jay. Blue Jay has a blue back and a blue head and white breast. 
Blue Jay. Here we have a woodpecker. Woodpeckers use their strong beaks to make holes in a tree because they have their nest inside a tree. Woodpecker. There's that owl. You know owls are awake at night. That's when they do their hunting. Owl. And our last bird is the yellow warbler. Warbler. Can you say warbler? Warbler. Here we have our birds. And our cards. Here's owl, robin, yellow warbler, cardinal, woodpecker, and blue jay. Now we're going to match. Let's start with this one. Here we have owl. Can you see a picture with owl in it? There's owl. We'll match it. How about Blue Jay? Can you find a picture of Blue Jay? There it is. There's a Blue Jay sitting on a branch. Blue Jay. What about Yellow Warbler? Do you see a picture of a Yellow Warbler? There it is. Yellow warbler is sitting in the tree. Hmm. How about Robin? Can you find a picture of Robin? Yes, there's Robin sitting in a tree. Now we'll match Woodpecker. Can you find the picture of Woodpecker? Here is Woodpecker with his red head, just like this one. This Woodpecker is sitting by a birdhouse. Woodpecker. And our last bird is Cardinal, a red Cardinal. Do you see the picture? Yeah, there it is. Cardinal. We matched them all. Thank you for helping me. Today we're going to do a poem about feathers. It's from our book on the back. So you remember that feathers are what cover the bird's body. And when a feather falls out, it is very light. So when it falls out of the sky, it might twirl or dance on the wind before falling to the ground. And that's what this poem is about. So it's called Feathers. Fancy colors, fluffy, downy, tickly, floating, drifting, wind-borne, flying, dancing, twirling, free, falling, falling, still. A 
describes the movement of a feather as it falls down. Thank you for joining me today. I'll see you again soon.